When you hover over a container or a section or column, if you're still using those, changing the color of the background is not a problem. You can do it directly in Elementor. Changing the color of the text though, when you hover over any part of that container, that's a problem. And on this channel, we fix problems. I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do this with just a little bit of CSS. And since containers allow you to add a link to any container that applies to that whole container, this is a great way to create some very cool clickable content. Now the first thing we're gonna need is a container. I have a container here and within that container I have three other containers. I'm gonna be working on the first one. I went ahead and I added in my content and it consists of an icon and two text editors. One thing you have to be aware of is that this will not work with headings and that is why I'm using text editors. I added in some basic styling, I added a border radius and some padding but I did not add a background color because we're gonna control that with the CSS. Now the CSS will be available down below so you can just copy and paste it in. If you see any differences between the one in the video and the one down below, it's because I updated it. But no worries, it's still gonna be pretty much the same. And the whole process is exactly the same. Now if we take a look at the CSS, we can see we have two classes. We have a class called container and we have a class called text. The class called container is gonna target our container and the class called text is gonna target our text. And these classes can be named anything, they just have to match the class you're gonna actually give to the container and the text. So let's go over to our container and under advanced at CSS classes, we're gonna type in container. Then we're gonna go into our text editor, advanced, CSS classes and type in text. And we're gonna do the same for the second one advanced CSS classes text. Now it's time to copy in the CSS. By the way, I'll be hosting a new series called Wizards of Webcraft, where I will be reviewing your websites. So I would love it if you joined us. To apply and to get more information, check the link in the description. If you're using the free version of Elementor, go ahead and access your admin bar, press customize, press additional CSS and paste it in here. But I'm gonna be putting it under advanced custom CSS. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this in. And immediately we can see it works. Now let's go over the CSS real quick. This part is gonna target our container, give it a background color and control how the transition behaves. This part is gonna set which background color is gonna show up on hover. This part is going to control the color of the text editor and is gonna control how the transition behaves. And this is the most important part which combines them. This is what enables us to hover over here and still get the color change on the text that is way far off from this spot. And this part just removes the whole effect from the mobile version. So if you want it to happen on your mobile version, just go ahead and delete this part of the CSS. As you can see, if we keep it, nothing happens. As soon as I delete it, we get the hover. If you're gonna keep this part of the CSS, just make sure the colors match the normal state colors. So in our CSS over here, you can change the colors, you can change them to anything you want. You can change the transition duration. You can make them really slow. Or you can make them really fast. I would recommend 0.3 seconds. I put it to 0.6 just so we have a better idea of what is happening. One more thing to keep in mind is I'm gonna go ahead and delete this container and duplicate this one. So once I duplicate it, you can see we don't have the hover happening. And if we check the live page, it actually is happening. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes the editor will not show changes, but the live site will. So just in case you think it's not working, check the live website first. And I mentioned before that you can add a link to a container that makes that whole container clickable. This enables us to really utilize these hover effects to their maximum potential. And you can get some really cool stuff out of it. The way you do it is you go into your container just go under layout, additional options, HTML tag, and you're gonna choose a link. And over here, you're just gonna put in your link. And now that I did this, the changes are not showing up correctly in the editor anymore. But if I go to my live page, everything works as it's supposed to. And now we have a link here. If this video was helpful, check out this video next, hit that thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below if you run into any issues. Thank you for watching.